Yeah, so there, it's too bad then that there wasn't a town crier or something that told us that Ublek was uh, paying bounties for Brage and Prism. I think we would have uh, concentrated on that a lot earlier had we known. Actually, I guess I should mention... Uh, because other things have shown up in the world map that we're not looking at. One of those, I think, being the Sea Watcher Runes and uh, that Fire Wine Bridge. And the reason why I don't think we're going to check those out, at least not yet, is um, Lily's just not interested. <laughs> Doesn't sound that interesting to her. Um, yeah, maybe on the way back we can always. Explore a little bit up there, but uh, I think we'll try to stay on course. Yeah, I think she's just simply interested in this because it sounds like a mage's tower. All right, so we're actually going to jump here to the south. This is um, the where we exited from the Nashkel mines, just because um, I, th I have a feeling maybe that's when Durlax Tower popped up. So I think we want to actually approach it from the south. That's kind of the way we know how to go. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Okay, four skeletons, one of which looks like an archer. Right. I think we're gonna Fetch just... Me your tasks. And... A half ogre. So I think this is mostly ranged fire, I think, from the skeletons. Plus, I think we're more worried about the half ogre. All right. Nature for the group. Sending uh, Jahira to hopefully fend off the skeletons in the meantime. Trying to see who the half ogre is attacking here. We don't want him to be attacking Imuin, that's for sure. Jahira, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, apparently I'm not. Clear. I've done had enough of this. Yes. I think, uh, all right. Sunny and Khalid, hopefully they'll stop with the darts. <laughs> what? Uh, can I... For the Fallen! You have need of me? I can? No! Yes? My no, blade will cut really you down this side. Okay. By Temple Shield. Okay. I'll do my best. Just picking up a bit of gold, it looks like. Uh, otherwise, nothing really special. Actually, I do want to see. It was a Warhammer, I think, from one of the skeletons. I think I forgot to see whether that was a better weapon for Bronwyn. So I think we compared this mace with the flail, but we didn't compare it to a warhammer. Wow, 1d4 plus 1, okay. So, not so interested. Oh, you can't? Okay. I 
I'm always concerned about this setup, putting, uh, even though we only have four arrows. <laughs> but, because um, I guess when she runs out of these, I'll probably forget, and then she'll just simply start firing the fire arrows at our luck at Gibberlings or something. What is it? Okay. What is your command? What? A simple matter. All right. Yeah, so we're not going to explore uh, that wilderness area fully south of the tower. I just think we wanted to see what that approach looked like. Um, plus, when we were there, we r ran away from, I think it was an ant keg. And... Well, I guess we can just keep A simple matter. going. Okay, so here's the exit from the Nashkel mine. So I guess we'll go up towards that at least. And pretty distinct uh, difference here in the terrain. Almost reminds me of like uh, Arizona. Here's uh, another entrance to, I'm not sure what. Probably check it out. <laughs> okay, a ghoul breathing right down Lily's neck. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we'll be able what to is it? take him down before what? he holds anybody. Fine. Oh, I do not in this. Okay. Can I? I can, but try. Bloodstone ring. Yep, I'm gone. And okay, just some gold and the uh, sarcophagus. I think actually, though, since we found somewhere inside and it was still dark outside, I think we're actually going to rest here. I know the place is creepy, but uh, it's probably safer than being outside. Yeah, I think the only other idea I had about what that Firewine Bridge might be was uh, maybe something to do with bandits, but it's too far south to be yes? the bandits that Elminster was talking about. Fine. So, still have no clue what that is. Such menial tasks. 